This is a demo of a new graphical topology editor. Let's create a new topology file. Um, let's add uh, some devices using a palette on the right. To add device you can drag and drop device from the palette or click device icon and click on editor canvas to edit. To create connection uh, user can select connection tool from a palette and drag connection from one device to another. Also user use can use uh, connection handles that appears when you put mouse cursor over the device. User can add labels and notes to the diagram. In the note. User can resize devices. Move them. Cut, copy and paste. User also can align devices. User can edit device, link or whole topology property using pr property page. Here is a tree of nested devices. This is a top level device and uh, this is uh, nested devices. Here, here are ports. Let's create some more nested devices to this router. Let's add card and then add a port to the card. If we create a new link from this device then this link will be created using the this free port. See, link is using port that we have just created. This one. If there is no available free ports, then new port will be added. There is a new port. User can cut, copy and paste nested devices. For all devices, top level and nested, user can edit device properties. Let's change the name of our router. As you see, the name was changed on the property page, in the device tree, and on the editor canvas. Let's change some other properties. Let's change device size. And let's change an icon.
a user can also add new properties and properties collections to device. If user specify custom property name, then he must to specify vendor. User can select vendor from the list and use some of vendor specific property. User can edit properties of a link. Let's change direction. As you see, uh, connection arrows appear. Or you can select different nested device uh, for connection. Uh, devices that have a outgoing or incoming connections have a corresponding overlay icon. Three devices that are available don't have such an icon, so let's select this free port. User can modify properties of a topology by clicking on a white space. Let's specify some name and add some properties. Okay. If user select multiple objects, then primary selection is indicated uh, by black squares on the editor canvas. User can change rulers and grid preferences by clicking on, on a white space. User can toggle show ruler, show grid, select a grid spacing, and toggle snap to grid or snap to shapes options. Also, user can zoom in and zoom out diagram using the zoom tool on the palette. Or zoom combo box on the toolbar. User can customize palette entries. Let's add some custom entries.
Let's define a session profile for device in topology. Create a new session, do a bit telnet session. Let's save it. Go here, go to the sessions tab and the new session. specify IP address to run session user can use the start session button or context menu. For device, context menu contains editing actions, start session group, show properties, view action, and an action to save an image of a device. For link, the set of actions is almost the same, but there is also navigate action to select source and target device for a link. For topology, this menu contains selection group, view group, zoom control and action to save image of a topology to navigate over topology user can use outline view Outline view has two modes, an overview mode, when user can pan over topology, and outline tree, when user can select devices from the tree. Topology editor supports validation. It verifies that names are unique it verifies that IDs are unique It verifies that name has valid characters It verifies that there is no double connections The connection that connects the same ports And it verifies that session URI is valid.
user can navigate over errors using problems view. Topology file is validating during the build. No, and the user can navigate the problem markers that were generated during the build.